Everyone talks about pro wrestling, but everyone talks about which era of wrestling was the best. Everyone talks about an era of attitude, the golden age of pro wrestling. But now there is a new style of wrestling, a new breed of wrestling, an era which will never be defeated. New Breed Wrestling. Hi everybody, I'm Sal Sanchez, welcoming you to another exciting hour of New Breed Rewind. We're going back to April 2019 in Sedalia, Missouri. We're going to see hour two of what we started last week. We'll start off the show with some words of wisdom from superstar Steve and his manager at the time, Travis Cook. Then we'll see a big six-man tag team match and in the big main event, we will see Superstar Steve going one-on-one -on -one against the Math Magician. That and so much more. So sit back with your favorite Always Save Snacks and grab a hold of New Breed Wrestling. Let's go down to the ring. Let's just set the record straight right now. Yes, we can. Thank you. 
What? Oh, no, no, no. Know who Superstar Steve is? Nobody. That's the question. Well, come on, let's have a video. Okay? I want this video. We need to get some cover. We need to get a little mass magician. That's why Jerry Lynn decided to bring it in here. What's this video doing out here? You talk about being overlooked by Jerry Lynn and other people. You talk about being overlooked. You threw a fireball in my face three weeks ago. That was awesome. Yeah, you attacked awesome. me from behind a week ago, and he's crying away. That was good. You're, you're overlooking me, but tonight you and me are going one on one. Don't worry about Kid Cash. Worry about the Mac Magician, because I will punch you in the face not once, not twice, but three times. I think what he's saying, Superstar, is he's going to worry about Kid Cash on June 29th in civilian. He might be worried about him later on tonight. Hey, pal, we're not worried about Kid Cash. He's going to take care of Kid Cash, but all I'm going to say, if you'll do me this favor, I'd like my math magician to be extra crispy tonight. How <laughs> 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 about some shaking bake, buddy? <laughs> What's the matter? The numbers don't add up for you? I'm not like you. I don't break the rules. I'm going to be fair and square. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three.
Elbin Tire and Brake is your full-service auto repair shop located at 210 East 4th Street in Elna, Missouri. We specialize in mechanical repair, new and used tires, and complimentary state vehicle inspections. Let our auto repair professionals show you that you can trust Elbin Tire and Brakes. Make your appointment today. But to be the man, you gotta beat the man, and I'm saying, woo, right here. I am the ultimate thing in wrestling today. I'm going to continue to be until I say that I'm ready not to be. St. Louis, Missouri. The gateway to the west where the Cardinals fly and the Blues skate away. St. Louis, the granddaddy of the greatest sport of them all. Professional wrestling. New Breed Wrestling and SICW are proud to come together to celebrate the illustrious history of professional wrestling in St. Louis, Missouri. May 13th at the ABR Hotel and Ballroom. Come out and celebrate St. Louis wrestling and the history of professional wrestling in St. Louis. Introducing first, being accompanied by Wildfire from the wild side. And waiting to get known your day business. Volatile Curtis Wow. All right, baby. Hello, Here wrestling fans, and welcome to New Breed Squared Circle. Here we are, our opening contest is going to be a big six man tag team match. As we see my boss, the volatile one, volatile Curtis Wow, make his way to the ring. Accompanied by the lovely wildfire. You people better not boo me. I agree, the people here better not boo him. And of course, Volatile Curtis Wild, the holder of the 2015 SICW Bruiser Brody Memorial Cup Battle Royal Trophy, as we see there at ringside. Superstar! He's gonna be joined by his partners, Jaden Dominic Rose, and the legacy, Leland Race, the son of the late, great, handsome Harley Race. This is what a real woman looks like. I agree with you, Curtis. People here in Sedalia do not know anything about it. Take a look around here. I've seen Wildfire. I've seen her social medias. I know she's got... She's got some modeling sites out there. Beautiful, beautiful lady. You should, you should subscribe to it. And introducing his partner, Jaden Dominic Rose. And here he is, the second member of this team, Jaden Dominic Rose. Yeah, I don't agree. I don't agree with the fans here booing him, but I do agree with Jaden not wanting to touch the hands of these grubby little kids out here. They've got germs. I don't think they have soap here in Sedalia. I am amazing. You are amazing, Jaden. And finally, their partner, being accompanied by Travis Cook and representing the Travis Cook organization, 
from St. Louis, Missouri, and weighing in at 223 pounds, the legacy, Leland Grace. And here we go again, the final member of this team, the Legacy, Leland Race. Along with his manager, Travis Cook, part of the Travis Cook organization, a proud organization of fan, fine, upstanding individ, individuals, model citizens, great wrestlers, champions, philanthropists. People here in Sedalia know nothing about that at all as they continue to boo this team. And here we go. Coming to the ring, the hometown hero, relocated here to Sedalia, Missouri, and what a big pop in the crowd here. It's deafening. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, but he does have some cool face paint. Talk about Tyler Gray. As the Shrine Hall here just totally erupts as Gray makes his way to the ring. High fiving the fans. I said earlier there's no soap here, so I don't know if I'd want to shake his hand after all this. And here we go, his partner, a wrestler for the people, Rex. Sporting some face paint. I don't think I've ever seen him do that. But the fans here in Sedalia, Missouri are just loving it. As they all can't wait to shake hands, high five. Even uh, Patrick's guy over there. He likes Rex. And we're about to see the third member. Oh, and we know this music. Here he is. Oh my gosh, even the crowd's even louder now for this ball-headed shiny guy, the Iceman, dancing into your hearts. Come on now, this isn't breaking to a liquor boogaloo. Of course, he's sporting a shirt there from the Jason Mortis collection at Kmart. That line, individually put, came aren't out of business. That's why you don't see them anywhere in this uh, area anymore. Nobody liked it. Come on now, shut up and let them talk. This is disgusting. Show the man some respect. His dad's hardly raised, damn it. Yes, he does. Yeah. 
I think so. I, I've seen Travis Strook tear it up at the club. I've seen him. Here's something you don't know. I'm going to leak you a little bit of information. You're going to be seeing this man, Travis Cook, on the upcoming season of Dancing with the Stars. Mark my word. This guy's skilled in ballroom dance, hip-hop dance, square dance, country line dance, and he can do a mean salsa. Oh, look at these kids with this Iceman sign. Someone needs to tear that sign up. Maybe that camera guy over there will tear it up for me. You know what? I don't think the people here in Sedalia deserve to see Travis dance. If so, we'll have to collect more money from them. They couldn't afford it. Here we go. All six men in the ring getting ready. Referee Gordon Atkins in charge of the action here today. Checking out the contestants. They better double check Rex there. I don't trust that guy. He's kind of shady looking. And especially, don't trust the ice man. He's probably got like an ice pick. He's probably got some ice trays. He's probably got a nice scoop. He might even have some ice cream in his pocket. And here we go. Tyler Gray moving in. Matches official. Bell is wrong. Let's see who we're going to start out. Looks like, looks like maybe a little bit of argument there on the side of Team Wild. We're all going to do it. Here we go, baby. They couldn't decide who was going to start it off, so I guess they're all going to start it off. Well, the legal way is supposed to be with two men in the ring at the same time. I don't believe we're doing Texas Tornado rules or anything here. Oh, now what's this? Leland's leaving. And here we go. All locking up, including referee Gordon Atkins. He got caught in the middle of this. Looks like a little dance there is Gordon... Order something to shake it all around. I never knew Gordon was a dance instructor. And here we go, the action spilling out as the team of Tyler Gray, the Iceman, and Rex clears the rain. And they celebrate early here. But the match has just started. Nobody's won yet. As Travis Cook. And Jaden Rose and Curtis Wild and of course Liam Race gather on the outside there. I heard that he's a better dancer than I am, so I want to see it. Looks like they're still trying to get Travis Cook to dance. I agree, Travis is one heck of a dancer. Here's another random fact. He taught Michael Jackson all his moves. We've got photos of a young Michael Jackson working with Tyler Cook. I'm sorry, not Tyler Cook, Travis Cook. All right, looks like the dance contest is on. Iceman, his only claim to fame was Actually, I don't know if he had a claim to fame Oh, here we go Leland putting a stop to it Big body slam Scoop slam by Leland Race And here we go Showing off the dance moves there by Leland Race That's a superior move right there here we go, big elbow sends the Iceman down. Leland following up, driving him there to the center of the ring. 
as Leland continues to shake it in there. I've seen Leland in a twerking contest. Believe it or not, Leland and Cardi B, they were once a thing. You can read about it in the National Enquirer. And here we go, Jane showing off his dance moves as well. I don't know, perhaps we've got the makings of a boy band here. You know, you've got Jaden Rose, Leland Race, and Volatile, Curtis Wild. They could be the new NSYNC or something. New Backstreet Boys. And here we go now, rallying the troops. As Jaden applies that chin lock on the ice man, trying to get him back to his feet, and they did. Here we go, some elbows to the gut. And a rake across the face. There's another one on the side. Uh-oh. Coming up from behind, forcing the ice man into their corner. And now the ice man's in trouble as Leonard Race helps out his partner while referee Gordon Atkins is distracted by volatile Curtis Wild. Here we go, tagged into the volatile one and he makes his way through the ropes. Oh, follows up with some kicks, some right kicks there and an elbow to Mr. Clean's bald head. Oh no, Iceman's in trouble. He reminds me of like Glass Joe in Mike Tyson's punch out as he goes straight to the mat. Volatile showing his superiority over the Iceman. Tag into Leland Race. Leland follows up across the ropes. Drops the elbow. I'm sorry, the knee on the Iceman. Taking some time to taunt the crowd a little bit. That could be dangerous. You don't turn your back on a 22 plus year veteran like the Iceman. Big headbutt. And another. Right hook. Leland goes in for one of his own. Here we go. Leland setting him up for perhaps a net breaker. And down we go. Here's the pin. Only a two count. That was probably about a two and a half as Gordon's hand almost went down and wildfires frustrated I don't blame her at all that that seemed to be an apparent slow count by referee Gordon Atkins here we go Jane Dominic throws in taking over for ball talkers wild here we go whip across the ropes to the corner Iceman goes in for a big splash and that staggers Dominic Rose uh oh Jane's in trouble he's there on the corner Iceman following up. Oh no. Oh! Here we go. That could be it. Only a two count though. Jaden finding his way to kick out of that one. And Iceman goes for a tag. He missed the tag, I thought. Not sure if that was a legal tag or not, but Tyler's in the ring. Smacks him in the chest. You can hear that one all the way down the street to the Casey's. Nice lean break there by Tyler Gray as James backed up into the corner there. Of, uh oh. And look at that. Some blatant cheating there by Rex as Rex was holding his arms there so that. Tyler Gray can double team him. Oh, and what a big smack by, big chop by the wrestler for the people, Rex. Jaden begging for forgiveness, saying he's sorry. He doesn't want another one of those big chops. That really staggered him. Oh, but there's another one. Quite to the delight of the fans is, Jaden Dominic Rose tries to make his way out of the ring, but couldn't. That was the brakes were put in by Rex there as Jaden moves into the corner. But here we go, tag out to the Ice Man. 
Iceman following up. And again, we see Wildfire cheering her uh, teammate there. Oh, no. Here we go across the ropes. There's that stupid little move. And the elbow drop. Unfortunately, this could be it for Jaden Dominic Rose. Oh, but Iceman not following up. Wanted to do the moonwalk instead. Only a two count, though. See, even, even, uh... Even Travis Cook calling him out. Travis Cook invented the moonwalk. He really did. Remember in that the Grammy Awards or was it Motown 25 when Michael debuted the uh, the moonwalk? Travis was right there off the side of the stage. If you look closely, you can see him there, and he taught Michael Jackson the moonwalk. Uh oh, what's he setting him up? Choke slam! Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's it. This has got to be over. Oh, but here we go, saved by Volatile Curtis Wild. Otherwise, that wouldn't have been Kearns for his team. The referee Gordon warning him. As Dominic calling for a timeout. Timeout not being granted here by referee Gordon Atkins. Oh, here we go, clothesline sends Tyler Gray down. Only a two count. But Jaden not wasting any time following up there with a big chop. That's going to take the win out of Tyler Gray. Here we go. Tag back into Leland. Oh! And another big chop by Leland. As Wildfire fans off Dominic, trying to give him a little bit of relief. There we go. Another big chop sends. Tyler Gray down. Now Tyler intimidating his opponents there in the corner as he makes quick work of Tyler Gray. Here we go, whip across the ropes. Bad drop. Uh oh, but desperately trying to keep from being pinned, trying to reach the ropes. Can he get him? Here's the pin. Only a two count though. Followed up with a double axe handle. And a stomp to the back. And another one. Tyler's in trouble. As he's trying to get back to his feet. Here we go now. Fans picking up this chant. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Someone call security. Where's Larry? Throw these people out. Oh, here we go. More big chops. And another one. Those are going to leave some welts and bruises. Oh, but Tyler retaliates with a couple of his own. Oh, but here's Leland once again. Big body slam. And a tag back into Jane Dominic Rose as Rose coming in over the top. Here we go. Oh, big splash. But only a two count. I certainly thought Tyler was in trouble there. And we see the gun fans in ringside cheering on their hero, Tyler Gray. And the action continues. Both men slugging it out there in the ring. Oh, but here we go. Jaden got him into the corner. Tagging in. Volatile Curtis Wild. Jaden makes his exit. And here we go. Uh-oh. Distraction here. Referees distracted as Wildfire checks out. Tyler Gray just making sure he's okay. You know, she wouldn't interfere in a match like this. Not at all. Referee breaking the hold. And again, we see Wildfire checking out Tyler Gray. She just wants to make sure he's all right. Oh, 
Oh, big boot to the side of the face. And we certainly heard that one all the way down to the interstate. Here's the pin attempt. Only a two count, though. Curtis Wild has him back up, moving him back into the corner. Oh, Todd a turnbuckle and a boot there from Leland Race as Leland's tagged back in. Here we go, Leland following up with a big chop. And here's a body slam and a knee. Here we go, here's a two count. Again, only a two count. As he goes back to that chin lock. I agree. I think he could beat him with the chin lock as referee checks it out. But Tyler not giving up. He does desperately need to make his way to the corner and make that tag. And get one of the fresh men in. Trying to get the crowd behind him. But Leland just wrenching it in and applying the pressure there. And look at these fans on ringside. I don't like it. I don't like these people. Here we go. Tyler back on his feet. But Leland able to hook that chin lock back in. And once again, Tyler's in trouble. Tyler again back on his feet. Try to get a couple elbows in. Following up with some right hooks. Oh, but a punch to the gut. Tyler still fighting back with some elbows. It's a Gurry kick. Sends Leland down. And Rex and the Iceman both desperately want to get in. They need Tyler to make his way to climb, to crawl, do whatever he needs to get to that corner. And he's getting dangerously close. Oh, but wait a minute. We saw Leland tag in Jaden. But Rex is in as well. And Rex just unloading on Jane Dominic Rose. And Rose is staggering. Oh, what's that? That's a cheap shot there to the volatile one. He's not even a legal man. Oh, big power slam. That's got to be it. Rex is a big dude. Wow. I can't believe that Jaden had the stamina to kick out of that one. Still staggering on the ring. He's definitely in trouble. As Rex goes in for another big shoulder tackle, sends him outside of the ring. Oh no, what's this? Is he going to the top? Nope. Tyler's in trouble. Oh, off the middle rope, double axe handle. Ice fans down. Leland's making his way back up to his feet. Jaden in trouble. Rex setting him up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Perhaps a suplex coming up. Straped over that rope. I don't know. What is this? What is this? Oh! Corkscrew. Oh, but here comes Leland. Oh, and rams that shoulder right into that steel ring post. Here's the roll-up. And that's the three. So your winners, by pinfall, the team of Jaden Dominic Rose, Leland Race, and the volatile one, Curtis Wild. We're going to commercial break. We've got lots more action, including the big main event with the math magician and superstar Steve. So don't go anywhere.
Missouri meets the Mississippi. Under the lights of the Gateway Arch where wrestling wasn't born, but where it was raised. May 13th at the Aviator Hotel in Ballroom, a gathering of wrestling legends. New Breed Wrestling is proud to announce the MBW Heavyweight Championship will be on the line. New Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Dr. Eisen will go to battle and defend the Heavyweight Championship against the challenger, the Aztec Demon Warrior, El Diablo. Following the tradition of all the champions who have battled in this great city, these two men will now be added to the long list of legends that have went to war in this historic city of St. Louis. Here at O'Reilly Auto Parts in Eldon, Missouri, we have several free services like checking the scan tool to check your check engine light or battery alternator testing. We also check fluids, change bulbs, and batteries unless professional installation is required. Come and see one of our professional parts people today or call 573-392-3341. New Breed fans, New Breed Wrestling is returning in March. That's right, New Breed Wrestling will be back in Eldon, Missouri on March 18th with a brand new bell time of 6 p.m. So don't miss out on all the hard-hitting action you've come to expect from New Breed Wrestling. Bring the entire family and make your plans to join us when we're in a town near you. For all the latest updates, make sure to follow us on Facebook. And as always, the card is subject to change. So sit back and grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling in 2023. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's main event time. And making his way to the ring, the Math Magician. We've seen this guy in New Breed action before, former world heavyweight champion here in New Breed Wrestling. And he's here to do battle against Superstar Steve in a special grudge match. From Hollywood, California, and weighing in at 225 pounds, Superstar Steve! And here he is, accompanied by his manager Travis Cook superstar Steve a man who's wrestled all over the world he's got lots of credentials former new breed world champion this guy's got it all and of course the fans here in Sedalia Missouri and pretty much everywhere he goes none of them show him respect look at that lady who brings a baby to ringside I don't get this all the kids here calling him names. His name's not Stupid Steve. It's not Stupid Steve. It's Superstar Steve. Get it right. And Math Magician going into early work here with the drop kick there on the outside. Underneath the bottom rope as he continues to unload him on him on the outside of the ring. Superstar Steve trying to make his way into the ring. And there he goes retaliating with the elbow. 
but the Mad Magician following up with some elbows, I'm sorry, some forearms, and now a big chop. And that leaves Superstar Steve in pain. Our referee, the lovely Yali Sapphire, Sapphire has yet to make uh, make the official introduction to this match, I believe. I don't, rem I don't believe I heard the bell ring. So she's certainly got her hands full as Superstar Steve comes back with another big chop. Uh, we do have Steve making an escape for it, going out to the front there by ringside, followed by the math magician, and now finally both men in the rain as Steve goes out to the outside. Referee finally rang the bell, so the match is official. Here's a roll up. Quick pin attempt there, but only a two count. Now I have to agree, Travis Cook there on the outside giving uh, Yali Sapphire some pointers there. Travis Cook, of course, one of the finest minds in professional wrestling. This man's a genius. Everywhere he goes, every promotion he works for. There we go, big wrenching side headlight lock by Superstar Steve, just applying the pressure there. And even though this math magician showing, you know, wearing a mask, that's still got to hurt. As Superstar Steve goes down, taken down by the math magician, and now both men on the mat as referee Yali Sapphire checks it out. Here we go. Still working that arm, a little bit of an arm bar there as Steve tries to reach the rope. Referee checking him out. Still, Superstar Steve trying to reach that rope, just inches of reaching it. And of course, Travis Cook being the stand-up guy he is, you know, he's not going to help him out. He's got to win this on his own. Here we go, finally, grabbed a hold of the uh, type of the top rope. As Superstar Steve follows up with an elbow and then a knee to the gut. And sends Math Magician into the corner, into that top turnbuckle. Here we go, snap mare and an elbow drop. N another pin attempt, but only a one count. And here we go, Travis Cook trying to rally the troops, starting that Let's Go Steve chant. Unfortunately, the fans here in Sedalia aren't following up with that. Here we go, whip into the corner. Big boot to the Math Magician. Goes in for a second one. Oh, but Steve gets it reversed, and now Steve's holding on there for dear life as the Math Magician applies the pressure there to his midsection. Steve trying to follow up with an elbow, breaks the hole just a little bit, but here we go. Travis Cook coming again. Travis Cook ordering the referee to break the hold as now Superstar Steve finds himself draped on that top rope and now upside down as the Math Magician just unloads into the stomach. I have to agree with Travis there giving uh, Yali pointers again. Superstar Steve following up with some knees to the chest. And now Man Magician is there on his uh, knees now. Can attempt again. Only a one count there by referee Yali Sapphire as the Man Magician kicks out. And Travis Cook once again putting his hands up. He's not getting involved in this. He wouldn't do anything like that. Here we go. No man once back into the corner as Steve meets the top turnbuckle pad and again not looking good for superstar steve here as the math magician starts the counting here with these uh, kids in ringside i'm like this is the weekend they don't want to think about school and math and things like that in fact i don't even know if the 
people here in Sedalia can count higher than three. Do they even have schools here in this town? Here we go, putting the brakes. Oh, but Superstar Steve again fills that top turnbuckle. Here we go, both men outside on the ring aprons. Map Magician from the outside. Oh no, this is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. I do not like this. I don't like this one bit. Is he going to try to suplex him there in the hardest part of the ring? Oh, but Steve counters. DDT's him there. And I'll tell you what, that is very, very hard. There's nothing but steel there. A little bit of padding and, of course, some mid planks of wood. As Superstar Steve rolls the Mad Magician back on the inside. Pin count, but only a two count once again. Travis Cook claiming the Mad Magician is hurt. If that's the case, then this match should be over. Again, the crowd here in Sedalia telling Travis Cook to shut up. As Superstar Steve headbutts the Mad Magician. Sense of staggering, he's a little woozy there, like he's been partying on a Saturday night. Steve following up with a series of knees. Oh, and a big knee to the face. Here we go, another pin attempt. Again, only a two count. Travis Smith claiming that was three. I couldn't quite tell from this vantage point, but you know, Travis is a stand-up guy, so I pretty much got to agree with him. Here we go. Math Magician trying to retaliate there with some rights. Oh, but caught by Superstar Steve. Here we go, Snap Mare. Oh, and a knee to the back of the neck. That's got to be it. Again, only a two count here. As you can see the frustration in Steve's face. Steve's a tough individual. You know what, Travis? I'm starting to wonder that about Yali. I used to like her. Superstar Steve, Steve going for that elbow drop. Catches him there on the chest. Here we go. Across the ropes. And another big elbow drop. I thought he was going for a pin attempt, but he didn't. Looks like he's going to inflict more punishment here on the Mad Magician. As he goes for a third, but misses. Mad Magician rolls out of the way. And, of course, now Steve feeling that pain in his elbow. And the crowd picking up that one, two, three chance. Again, only a two count. And it appears Math Magician could be in trouble here as his knees are bent back. Referee Yali checking him out. Steve limping around though, trying to follow up there on the uh, Math Magician as he brings him slowly to his knees. Oh, but here we go, right to the chest and a chop. And a series of chops back and forth. Here we go, Math Magician. Oh, but he catches that elbow, sends him quickly down once again. And here we go again with that one, two, three. Come on now. At least count to ten if you're going to count. Some of you at least had preschool here in Sedalia. Referee. Having some words there with Superstar Steve as Matt Magician makes his way to the ropes. Trying to use this for leverage to get back up on his feet. But here we go, Steve ramming him into that top turnbuckle there right in the corner near Travis Cook. And I have to agree, I mentioned the 10 count and Travis is there is trying to teach him three new numbers. Look at that. An educator. A, a genius. Oh, and another big chop. You know, he's, he's just teaching these kids some numbers. Oh, went in for another big chop. But Steve Tom went of his own. And now Matt Magician just unloading on Steve. Whips him across the ropes. Here's the reversal going back in. 
with the forearm to the back, sends Math Magician down. Dangerously close to those ropes, though. Here's a pin attempt. And again, only a two count rope break there as Math Magician was able to reach up. Now, oh, here we go. Superstar Steve getting him into better ring positioning, getting him there in the center as Travis Cook continues looking on there on the outside. Not sure what he's got planned, but this can be good for the Math Magician. Superstar Steve swinging him. What did they used to call that in the WWE? The Cesaro swing? <laughs> Looks like uh, Superstar Steve, though, got a little dizzy from that one. I'm not sure if he knows exactly where he is or where his opponent is in the moment. As both men found each other there in the center of the ring. Steve following up with some some uh, forearms to the back as Matt Magician tries to make his way fully back up to his knees. Here's a snapmare, sends him back over, going into a chin lock. Referee checking it out. Of course, Superstar Steve wouldn't choke him or do anything illegal. You know, Superstar Steve, he's a stand-up guy. He plays by the rules all the time. And again, the people here in Sedalia showing their inferior counting skills. Counting one, two, three. As Matt Magician seems to be enjoying that and getting a second win. Fighting back with everything he's got. Here we go across the ropes. Oh, but caught by Superstar Steve. Nice veteran move there by Superstar Steve. Oh, went in for kind of like a backdrop or something there, but couldn't quite get it. Caught some knees on his way down. And now Steve feeling the pain. Here we go, Travis starting the Steve chant. But the fans here in Sedalia are not joining in. Of course, I hear, I don't know, it sounds like a dying cat saying math, math, math. Not sure what's up with that. Atomic drop sends him down and staggering. Oh, elbow drop. Or, I'm sorry, elbow. Oh, and an Itsuguri sends Superstar Steve back into the corner, trying to get up to his knees. Using the ropes there as Amp Magician's back up. I don't like this. Oh, went in, but caught an elbow. Staggers Map Magician. Both men duking it out there. As Steve's backed up in the corner once again. Here we go, whip into the corner. Steve is in trouble. Oh, went for a bulldog. That could be it. Oh, so close. So close indeed. Probably like a 3.75 there. I'm sorry, 2.75. Now I can't count. Being here in Sedalia is rubbing off on me. There we go, milk it. And across the ropes. Oh, went in for perhaps a snapmare or something, but missed. And now Steve in trouble once again into the corner. Big splash. Matt Magician going for another one. Oh, but Steve moves out of the way. Here's a roll up. Only a two count. Now, some of the members here in the crowd saying that he was using the rope for leverage. I didn't see it. I, I don't know what exactly people here are watching. As Steve follows up there on the back, but catches a left elbow to the side of the face. Here we go. It looks like he went for a body slam, but missed. But here we go. Body slam from the mathematician. No, kind of a... Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? Travis Cook's up on the ring apron. Yali trying to get him down. Travis has something behind his back. As Superstar Steve is down on the mat. Went for a springboard off the top, but missed. Travis having words with Yali Sapphire. Yali has her... Back to the action here. Oh, no. Now, what's this? 
You don't put your hands on a manager. This is not a licensed wrestler. He is a licensed manager. He's paid to be there in ringside and serve as a coach. You shouldn't manhandle Travis Cook at all. And Steve follows up there with some elbows to the face. I'm sorry, not elbows, knees. And now both men are down as referee Yali still distracted by Travis Cook. Both men are down. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? What's this bald head guy coming out here? What is the Iceman doing out here? Iceman now going after Travis Cook there on the outside. And the fans here in Sedalia, Missouri are going crazy. Yeah, I agree. You better watch out, Iceman. Travis is a Kung Fu champion. You might not know this. But here we go. Both men back up to his feet. Oh, big punch sends Superstar Steve down. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, Math Magician had something in his hand. He had something in his hand. And now he just got disqualified, apparently. We'll wait for the official word. The winner of this match is a result of a disqualification. I told you. I told you Superstar Steve's a stand-up guy. He would not cheat. Look who got caught with the foreign object. And he ends up on the losing end. That's all our TV time for today. Till next time, the self just saying good night. Wrestling fans, don't forget, every Sunday afternoon, New Breed Wrestling uploads a new episode to YouTube. That's right. Come see all the stars of New Breed Wrestling. See every punch, every kick, every arm drag, every backdrop. See all the action that only New Breed Wrestling can bring to you. Every Sunday on YouTube. That's right. New Breed Wrestling. Sunday on YouTube. Come grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling.